I am here today with Craig Stocks from Utah Desert Remote Observatories. Today we're going to go over some questions we have with Craig and uh, kind of learn about this place and how do you go from backyard imaging to remote uh, imaging. So this is a remote observatory so you can put your stuff here and you know image whenever you want from your home. So first of all, um, tell us about yourself. Uh, what do okay. you do? I mean, well, my background, I, back in the 70s, I was working as a photographer, and I eventually figured out that being a photographer was not a good get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a good get-rich-slowly scheme either. It's a, it's a good go-broke-slowly scheme. So when my wife graduated from nursing school, I changed courses, uh, went, to, went back to college, got an engineering degree, worked for 30 years, and retired about 15 years ago. More or less went back to playing with cameras full time. Mm -hmm. And somewhere along the way, I think I took a picture and I could see Andromeda in a night sky picture. Mm -hmm. And I've always been kind of fascinated with space. And of course, engineering is kind of a science type of career. And that just sucked me in. You know, that started me down the rabbit hole. And from there, I started doing more wide field astrophotography. Then you get a star tracker, then you say, oh, I can put a telephoto lens on a star tracker. First thing you know, you've got a full-blown astro-imaging rig <laughs> in your backyard. And so now you have this. So tell us about this. What is this project? Okay. Well, this is a remote observatory. It's Utah Desert Remote Observatories. And you can find us online at utahdesertremote.com. And the whole idea of a remote observatory is we are really fortunate here in southwest Utah. We have a lot of nights of clear skies. In fact, the weather pattern here most of the time, the clouds just kind of evaporate and dissipate at sunset, and the wind dies down, and we have nice, dark, clear skies. Technically, it's a Bortle II zone. Uh, if you look at our sky quality meter that we have online, you'll see numbers ranging from Bortle I to Bortle III, just depending on the season and the night and the moon and whether the Milky Way is right over the, the sky quality meter, because that is a bright spot. So we've got this amazing property, amazing dark sky. Uh, we managed to find some place that also had high-speed internet. And so it was just the perfect combination for a remote observatory where you can locate your telescope here and then use some sort of a remote desktop application like Google Remote Desktop to log into your computer here. And then your computer here controls the mount, the camera, and everything. And with high-speed internet, uh, I use Dropbox, you can use other tools, and just transfer the files back to your home computer and you're ready to go. So most nights I set up my sequence when I, before I go to bed. It runs all night, robotically, unattended, and when I get up in the morning, I have files waiting for me. The dream, right? It, it is, <laughs> yes. It's so amazing. Um, I've spent the last almost 10 years like driving through the desert and every time you know, packing up and then setting everything up on the, you know, in the cold and all that, and it's a pain. And after so many years, I was really hoping to be able to image completely remote. And now, thanks to Craig, we will be able to do that. So hopefully you, will guide, um, you guys will learn from our videos how to, uh, to do this. And I'm sure the, the video last week or two weeks ago was also useful. And um, so how many peers do you have in this? We have 18. I don't know that we'll ever have all 18 fully occupied. Um, Probably more like 15 or 16 will be active at any one time. Nice. So plenty of space for you guys if you want to, yep. to image remote. And um, so you said the, the sky was really high quality, borrowed too, most of the time? Most of the time. Good uh, seeing, uh, usually in the two, somewhere in the two to three arc second range. And how many, how many days do you think per year you have clear skies here? I have been imaging somewhere between 70 and 85% of the nights. That's good. Now, now, that's not all night, that's at least part of the night. Uh, one of the things I really found when I started imaging remote is I get more data and better data. And the better data is kind of obvious because of the dark sky. You get more data because you don't have to drag your stuff out into the desert or even out into the backyard. It's already set up, all you have to do is turn it on. And even if a front is coming in and you can only image until midnight, you, you don't have the cost of setting everything up. We have weather systems. In fact, we'll have two weather systems monitoring the sky and the temperature and humidity and everything. 
so that if the weather does change, the building will automatically close to protect your equipment. So, you know, that's why you're able to image 70, 80, 85 percent of the nights and get more data and better data. And yeah, you can see behind me, there's a bunch of, of pictures taken by Craig from here. And I'll show you guys a bunch of his pictures and it's really impressive um, from this location. So uh, those guys are amazing and I cannot wait to also have some uh, great pictures like this because uh, imaging from Boral 2, you know, uh, most of the year is just insane. And um, so lastly, how do you, if someone wants to, to join, you know, this pro I mean, join this uh, yep. project, I guess, yeah. Uh, yep. How can you sign up and, and yep. join? Go to utahdesertremote.com and you'll find a number of different pages there in the, uh, you know, typical internet menu, there's a blog and a, a weather page that has our current weather conditions and some, some cams showing the, the building. Uh, you can also go to the contact page and fill out the form and that'll come to us and let us know what you're interested in. We'll be happy to get in touch with you and try to work something out. Uh, basically, you can bring your equipment here and set it up yourself. You can ship your equipment here and we can set it up for you for a small fee. Uh, some people will just contact a dealer and place an order and the dealer will come out and install it. So any of those combinations will work. And what's the price mostly, if you can uh, share? It's $800 a month. Okay. And then lastly, um, I want to mention, if you guys have any issues with your telescope or anything here, uh, Craig has some family living on site, which, I mean, which is great because they can help you um, to disconnect something or, you know, Yep. some minor stuff uh, on your computer or on your, on your telescope if you have any issues. Uh, and I think for remote observatories, this is a huge uh, plus to have someone on site at all times because you never know, first for safety and second for technical issues like that. So uh, that's great to have. And then, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I guess we'll, we'll see how the next pictures we'll get from here, uh, both you and I, uh, very exciting. And um, hopefully you get all your peers um, filled up soon and, <laughs> and I <more>. hope so <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions for Craig or just go on his website or you can go in the comment section and ask your questions if you want to and uh, yeah we'll see you guys next time and class guys